crude oil daily forecast March 14th fxempire.com you can see that the light sweet crude market rose during the session on Wednesday but it ended up falling enough to form not only a negative close but a negative uh, or a yeah, negative a shooting star the 9350 level proved to be a bit resistive and as I draw this line you can see why uh, during the session and of course we pulled back on top of that the International Energy Agency suggested that uh, demand for petroleum would be down for the rest of 2013 and that of course weighed upon the uh, oil markets in general as well going forward we still think that the 90 level should offer a bit of a floor in this marketplace and that we will more than likely see that move back or at least that attempt to get back to ninety six dollars uh, sometime in the relative near future any pullback at this point in time is probably going to be a buying opportunity but truthfully the market really likes to get technical and bounce around in relatively tight spaces and uh, right now it looks like that could be uh, the next move looking at the Brent market it's a completely different story you can see that it just continues to crater and part of this would have been in recognition of the International Energy Agency suggesting that worldwide growth was going to slow because quite frankly the only economy that seems to be growing at the moment is the United States economy with that being the case Brent is not used very often over in the US and Brent tends to be more uh, dependent on buyers in the UK, Europe, uh, and the like, all of which are showing signs of slowing down. So having said that, this market looks extraordinarily weak. However, we see uh, noise all the way down to the uh, 105 level, and as a result, aren't comfortable taking a long position in this market anyways. We're just simply going to sit on the sidelines.